This is the adjustment procedure for all Sturmey Archer drum brakes. This works on both the 90 millimeter and the 70 millimeter version. Before you remove the brake plate assembly from the hub, it is helpful to make a mark in relation to the flats on the axle. And you can make the mark with a silver or white felt pen or Sharpie on the brake arm. This will help reinstall the brake plate assembly in the same orientation. Once that's done, remove the lock nut and the cone adjuster and remove the brake plate assembly from the hub. Over time, this will get very dusty and dirty. You can clean it with an aqueous based solution. Don't use any kind of citrus or other chemicals or solvents on it, just basically soap and water. After it's dry, lubricate the cam with a small amount of grease. And make sure you don't get grease on the drum brake pads. The pivots can be lubricated with a dry uh, lubricant like a dry slide or bike aid. Again, making sure not to get any lubricant on the pads. The inside surface should be cleaned. If it's rusty, it really doesn't matter. You can sand it lightly if you want. And these surfaces can be sanded very lightly with 100 grit sandpaper. To reinstall it, install the cone adjuster. The line approximately the same orientation, tighten the cone adjuster down. Do this while the other side of the axle is clamped in a vise. And the adjustment is done with a 17 millimeter wrench. You'll be tightening it to 8.5 newton meters and this hook spanner. The adjustment will need to be done with the bicycle wheel and you check the adjustment at the rim and adjust it so that it is just to the point of no play. However, before you adjust it, you want to compress the brake. This will center the brake arm and the brake pads in the drum. If the wheel is new on a bicycle and it's never been installed before, the angle adjustment between the axle and the brake anchor will need to be done on the bicycle. So bolt the wheel into the bike with the non-turn washers and axle nut on the right side. Install the washer and axle nut on the, on the left side. Tighten the right side down to hold the wheel in place. And then as you adjust the chain and install the coaster brake strap or the brake strap and bolt, the final tightening of this nut will be, need to be done with a 17 millimeter cone wrench while it's on the bike. And then you will need to check, check the adjustment of the hub while it's on the bicycle. And if there's play, you'll need to readjust with the cone adjuster and the small hook wrench. And then check the wheel for free spinning. There should be no drag and the brake should work very well. And then you're done. Sturmey Archer drum brakes are generally trouble free and very low maintenance. However, a few issues can arise. The number one is squealing it from the brake. This generally happens in wetter climates like Seattle or Taipei and after the bike has been sitting for a while. It's very easy to stop the squealing. Simply ride the bike and apply the brake hard several times and the squealing should go away. Lighter riders may not be able to do this, so 
a more robust mechanic may need to ride the bike and do the procedure. The second problem that might arise is these rivets can become loose. If this happens, the brake plate assembly must be replaced. It is available from suppliers. Finally, when to know if the brake pads are worn out. Apply the brake and if the brake arm gets to the point where it is parallel with this groove or ridge on the brake plate assembly, that's the point where the brake assembly is worn out and must be replaced. And that's it.